reading from the Gospel of Mark. Then Jesus began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a pit for the wine press, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to the tenants and went to another country. When the season came, he sent a slave to the tenants to collect from them his share of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him and beat him and sent him away empty-handed. And again, he sent another slave to them. This one they beat over the head and insulted. He then sent another and that one they killed. And so it was with many others. Some they beat, others they killed. He had still one other, a beloved son. Finally, he sent him to them saying, they will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him, killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the tenants and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this scripture? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. When they realized that he had told this parable against them, they wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowd. So they left him and went away. This is a hard parable for us to hear. It is violent, it's intense, it's tragic, but it is a parable we need to hear, just as the religious authorities of the time that Jesus was speaking to needed to hear it. This parable highlights that throughout generations, before Jesus, and I would argue since Jesus, God has sent prophets, prophets to this world, to this vineyard, to speak truth. And these prophets have been treated violently. They've been met with angst, with aggression. Some of these prophets are well known. Some of these prophets have holidays named after them. But many of these prophets are silent. What I think is powerful about this passage is that the vineyard remains. No matter what the tenants did to the people that were sent by the owner, the vineyard remained. There was no change in vineyard. There was change in the people, in the tenants. We are the current tenants of this vineyard, of this kingdom of God. Hopefully, we are faithful workers. Hopefully, we are working hard to bear fruit, to return to God what is God's. And hopefully, we have ears and eyes that are open to hear the words and acknowledge the prophets of our own time prophets that God has equipped with a powerful voice to help us understand God's love, God's justice for this world. These prophets can come in any form, shape, age, color, gender. Today, let us challenge ourselves to be open to the prophets of God to be open to hear about what God is doing in this world, to be good tenants, to be faithful and fruitful tenants that don't approach God's prophets with aggression, with fragility and anger, but with an openness, a willingness, and a sense of love. Amen.